and we should be good to go. So, game number one and switching off the fog of war. Oh, it seems like Arabia, right? Oh, sorry, I'm not really, I'm not really interested in that, but yes, it's Arabia. So I'm really thinking this is the Jedi's map. You can see that they are already going for Loom, and the first player to have a look at is right now BF Shmoof, who is Mongol, and his teammates are Louis Han, uh, Krasis Mayan, and against them Ruben Stack is Persian. Thorax Mongol and UP Mayan. So it's not really a complete mirror, but Mongols and Mayans are the same. So let's see how the players actually take it. The base for purple is Kara. Okay, she seems he has the board here at the right, which he will discover right about now, right? Or will he just miss it? No, he doesn't. He goes right for it, so that's it. And very nice, uh, and he has a relic right beside his home base. That's pretty sweet for him. And yeah, another hand is at the left. Has he seen it? Yeah, he's at least seen these guys. So that's enough. And one boar. So once he goes for this deer, he will discover a second boar as well. Okay, the lumber camp is going at the back side, so that it's better protected. Can put, potentially put a wall here, which he doesn't need all that much because that's a side for his teammate. Uh, Krasis right now, so he much more is much more interested in walling his front side, and well, he might have a bit of a problem there due to the wolves. Otherwise, the base is pretty much fine. So let's move to the red guy. Between them, there is another relic, a quite nice stone, and I see a lot of gold there at the top for Krasis. That's very nice to see, and the boar. So let's switch into his point of view. He actually is aware of the boar. Uh, yes, he is quite nicely. Otherwise, this is nothing interesting. Second war, stone, and another relic. Well, that's a lot of relics at their side of the map. Yeah, you can see that the one, two, three, four relics at BF side of the map. <laughs> kind of unfortunate for the Jedi, but well, it will come in into game a bit further on in the game. Right now you can see that Red has discovered his deer and was trying to herd them a bit closer to his team uh, base. But he will do, have to do a whole lot better to actually get them all that closer. Otherwise he will have to place a mill there and not exactly sure if he will be wanting that. So that's the first house and that goes for some creative volley it seems. Uh, partnering with the woods there. So let's have a look at the last of BF. That's Louis. Right now playing the hunts. Let's switch into his point of view, and he is dropping mill right at these berries. So he, is he aware of this bar at the top? Yes, he is. Quite nicely, so he should be able to lure it right inside his base. And otherwise, his hunt is pretty far away from his base. If it actually is it, no, it isn't. This is his base hunt, and that's yeah, that's way closer. And has he seen it? Yep, he has. So he knows where to go. Otherwise, that's the fourth relic on their side of the map, and very nice code placement at the back as well, and a lot at the front. Well, <laughs> he definitely doesn't need to worry about gold in later of the game. Moving on to the Jedi. First, to have a look at this Ruben Stack, their strongest player. And right now, you can see he's doing pretty nice walling through the houses to limit uh, the maneuver abilities, and he has already heard it. Uh, this deer. Oh, but it ran away, ran away just a bit further than he would have liked. But still doing a pretty decent job with the scout, actually getting them inside the TC. And right now he is moving the board as well. So that's a very nice job from him. He's also going for barracks though. So we'll be seeing a faster advance into feudal, or faster, pretty much normal, as you would guess. And he is closing there. Otherwise, this map is kind of okay. A lot of gold together with a lot of stone on the bottom side of his map, which is pretty much safe as it's away from his enemies. And he has <laughs> another patch of hunt here at the front and at the left, so that's pretty nice for him. And another extra gold at the front and between him and the green. But he doesn't really need this, so I'm not exactly sure if this will be hotly contested. The first guys are advancing into feudal, as you can see, so let's continue with introduction of the players. So right now we are looking at Yupe, who is not advancing, but nice gold, a 
already get it a bar and actually in the second as well and some leader as well yep you can see the eagle scout working with working with this guy trying to get closer so that has a lot of food for them anyways another gold stone very nicely positioned this one as well needs to be pretty safe as it's covered by the wood and it seems like another lumber camp yep another lumber camp besides this one so even if he's raided you shouldn't really be able to worry Right now, blue signaling that <laughs> green is already nicely walling and going for a rush. Oh, -ho. hello. So he's definitely aiming for it. And you can see that blue was doing the same. So <laughs> it's pretty much one on one with the disadvantage for green that he doesn't have the scout here. So a bit of walling from blue as well. And scout is returning so that <laughs> at least even. And well, this scout has a bit better line of sight or line of sight health, but unfortunately for him, oh, he was just at my crowd there, green. He was just barely at my crowd. He lost the scout, and right now he has one half that militia, and that's not really great for him. The last one we haven't looked at is Thorax, who has just advanced in the feudal, and he's having very nice gold in his base second as well. And well, he might be forcing, uh, looking at some early aggression as well from purple. As you can see, he has built barracks kind of creatively as a wall, and at the same time in a forefront. So he might be interested in some aggression or not. Well, considering that he's building pikes, he's more or less trying to defend against scout trading. So is yellow doing something like that? Yes. You can see that he already has stables and he's pumping out scouts, so definitely good reaction from purple. And right now you can see that he's volleying, so that he's protected as much as he can be. And together with a bit of pikes, he's also going for scouts and he's very closed up. As this seems to be like only way through here. And well, all he has to defend is this part of the map as here he's aiming for a wall. All around his base, so that's pretty nice play. And where are those scouts going? Right now, I'm kind of thinking that they are ignoring purple and going for red because red is not prepared at all. He just has some baseless from palisade walls to protect at least a bit his gold gatherers and stone gatherers, so that's pretty nice play there as well. And otherwise, in his base, well, he's protected by wall. It's good job on that, otherwise. Relic called at the back, stone more or less safe, and woodcutter is pretty much safe as well. All he has to do is really build a palisade wall here and everybody will be safe there. So we have yellow arriving at red's base, which is something that red didn't anticipate as soon, as you can see that he was building his military buildings at the forefront to extend his natural wall. And that really backfired and now <laughs> he has to switch into market right there and blacksmith as well so he will be probably wanting to advance into faster castle so let's switch into crisis 500 600 yep he is definitely interested in castle and that's going to be very difficult because right now yellow has jumped on everything and just killed two wood gatherers right there very very good job very good job so he will continue raiding and in the meantime let's have a look what the drashin blue is doing well, he's trying to make life a bit difficult for his green opponent, but right now he doesn't really have enough units and uh, due to the multitude of willies there, he has to be careful. So it's just about some downtime in the food gathering. It's valuable, but still, it just cost him all the army here. <laughs> a good job green on that defending. But green, you have to be careful. As blue is already advancing into castle together with the Jedi Yupe, and the only from BF advancing into castle is red right now, as we were thinking about earlier. You can see that yellow is really camped <laughs> in red space, and red has to be careful. And those idols are definitely not helping your economy. Yep, so he's switching finally right now. And otherwise, well, it's not like yellow can do anything in this base, and purple is right now as much protected as he can. Still not sure he's aware of this way through. I think it's way through, but otherwise he's <laughs> compact as he can be. It's nice gold in the middle, stone as well, so he can pretty much stay camped, and he should be more or less fine. Right now, 
but still, we should at least advance into Gast, so let's have a look at this resources, 500, so he is interested in that, and at the same time he is going to raid the pocket for Jijudai, and that's steel. But uh, they have just now advanced into castle, so he's a bit late, but still he should be able to do some decent damage. He has a lot of scouts, and it will cost some really to kill him, so good job on that. But Blue has at least one pike, or at least spearman, <laughs> he's right now trying to help, but still, you better be careful. So two wheel is down, and well, Deal is trying to build a second DC. Right now, <laughs> he has reacted quite nicely with the volume and the resources, so that's pretty good job. And save the villies and the building of the town center. A good job, and purple has to retreat. There was a bit of a fight here, it seemed, or at least it was a flare, and well, you can see that blue is going for second TC. Maybe a third one will, won't be far away, so he is going for a castle boom. Well, what about the opponents? Green so far has been booming quite nicely, but as you can see, blue knights have just joined the battle. That's going to be a bit difficult for him to deal with. And yeah, the walls are just not coming up soon enough, and he has to retrieve from his gold mine. So very good raiding from blue. And more knights are just incoming. And does green have the barracks somewhere close? Yeah, yeah he does. Uh, but Louis. Are you building the pikes? You should be. No, not yet, unfortunately for him. So that's a lot of knights, and that will be very difficult, and especially now, when you can see that yellow is joining in the fun, and building this TC won't be as easy as green would have hoped. So let's, let's see how many villies will actually green lose here. That's two, three. And that should be fourth. But this is up. Yeah, four, five villies dead. Well, that was a pretty efficient ride. And this will be sixth. Yep, six. Six villies down, so that's very bad news for Green. As even though he advanced into castle and was trying to boom the same as his opponents, right now he's been denied very seriously and he already lost a ton of villies there. So that's not really anything he wanted to see. On this part of the map. Other guys, yellow. Well, we have a second TC already up. Not yet, but it's coming up right now. And well, purple can't because he is not even in castle yet, but he will be soon. And he might be running into some kind of problem because he will be running out of space. And his second TC will be coming, I'm not sure if by the stone or more here. I think more near the wood. Let's look at how green is being pummeled because there's a ton of army from blue together with yellow. And right now, at least red is trying to help him as green was really caught off guard in this double and wasn't really counting on it. And uh, yeah, he definitely needs the help from the Maya. And right now it's just plumes and with a bit of micro, yeah, he should be able to take care of these scouts as they're not all that strong. But these knights are. And that means another two villies dead. <laughs> he just deleted the gold mining camp so that he can retreat a bit the villies, but it's a bit late. And one just paid a bit of life, but second survived, so at least there's that. Otherwise, I can see a green dot. Or is it green? Oh, it's just a teal. So that's his teammate. I was just thinking that maybe green is doing at least something in the attack against blue, but no, he's not. And you can see that blue is very nicely walled altogether, so he should be more or less safe. 3 TCs, that's very nice from him. Uh, but the numbers of the plumes in green space are rising. And right now you can see that yellow is trying to scout where everything is, if maybe green isn't gathering at somewhere back. And that leaves just blue here. And a bit of an option for red to actually do something about those knights, but he has to be careful as this archers not, are not all that great, but with the reinforcements they just might be. Yep, and blue sees that and just retreats. And how's this looking? Well, that's the town center that's aimed to protect the gold. And then right now, well, 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 he's building with just too few villagers. And if green comes there soon enough, <laughs> which he doesn't. And right now, very nice palisades from green will protect the DC. And it should really come up very nicely. Yep. 
<laughs> very good job. So that's uh, at least more victory for Green. And he is sending his own knights into some raiding. Wow, and to till it seems. So he'll be having some fun. And at the same time, you can see that Schmoof has advanced into a castle as well and is trying to raid his yellow opponent. And yellow, how many TCs do we have? One, two, three. So that's a three TC boom. That's very nice indeed. And looking at the score, he is the best there. So he shouldn't really be having any problems with defending against the two purple scouts or other knights. Right now you can see that Red is in a pretty bad position. He has been caught off guard by those blue knights and there's a pretty decent number of them. So if he wanted, he could have just killed them very easily, but he decided not to and he wants to continue apply pressure on Green, who is right now at 3 TCs very nicely and trying to boom very strongly, you can see <laughs> on those farms right there. So the window of opportunity for Blue to seriously kill Green is kinda closing, even though he still has the advantage, of course. But, well... Unless Siege is coming soon from Blue, it's not like Green shouldn't be able to defend against this. Even though I would kinda be interested why he isn't really putting up any... Any pikemen or some such against those knights, I'm not exactly sure why, but he's still being doubled as he always returned from his scouting party. And well, aiming to put a dent into the green economy. At the same time, if you look at the minimap, you can see a few red blobs at the bottom near blue. But still, nice placement of the units, uh, preventing the villies from going to the TC, and that's just three dead. Or five that actually. Wow. Wow, that hurts. That hurts. That's very nice raiding from blue. And green having all kinds of trouble actually <laughs> dealing with that. You can see he's just being denied on the gathering here. And well, right now he's finally returned with his horses. So, right now he has quite a decent army and with some extra plumes from red he should be able to deal with this blue nuisance finally. And yes, blue has to retreat, so it is back to work. I was looking at the raiding here from red with the with bit of a plumes, but he was repelled by these blue knights, which I think will be joining the fight at the top in a moment. But still right now green is doing pretty well. There seems to be a bit of a raiding from <laughs> purple right there in his base, so that's a very nice job. And it also cost still quite some villies. 3, 4, 5, 6. I see at least 6 villies dead here. Well, that's a pretty good job. And I heard another one dying, so that's 7 villies dead. Well, good job, good job. But better be careful as camels are here to get rid of a bit of knights and some plumes on the Mayan. So even though that was a pretty successful raid, right now it's time to retreat. If there will be anything left, and it doesn't seem so. Purple just lost everything in the trade. Looking at the battle here at the top, right now Blue has to retreat because he's been doubled. And he can't really do anything against that because those knights would serve as a nice meat shield and the plumed archers would just slaughter everything in their path. So that's that. But he better be careful because he can't really go alone with those archers as he would be slaughtered by the sheer numbers of the Blue Knights. In the meantime, I was just thinking that maybe somehow could be advancing into Imperial, and right now it's Yuppe. That's the Pocket Mayan for the Jedi. And the town center for Blue, another one. That will be fourth already. Yep, fourth. He's going to cover the gold. That's very sweet for him, but he has decided that it's time for a <laughs> remission in the battles. But not really for long. As you can see, the BF are preparing to take the fight back to them. And a bit of reinforcements in the blooms, and here we go in the battle. But right now, some kind of castle drop could be really useful, especially for Red, as he could be pumping the blooms quite a lot faster there. Yep, that's a decent army of blue. And, well, they need to be careful here, if they don't want to be caught in some kind of bad situation. But this will be really about maneuvering here. And, well, ton of resources. Been spent on all kinds of upgrades from everyone, and you can see that 
Upad, Thorax advancing into Imperial, and the only one from BF so far is Shmoof. That was the player that was the last into Castle. So <laughs> he's just turning the tables on his teammates right now. So that's a lot of army here. And right now, Blue is maybe thinking about going into Imperial as well. That's why he's not really interested in losing all those units and just waiting for the right moment. But Red is trying to lure him out. <laughs> oh, yeah, a bit of a hit and run here. Anyway, let's have a look somewhere else on the map. You can see that Yellow is trying to amass some army and possibly those guys will be interested in dropping some forward castle. So let's switch into Thorax. He has 612, yeah, so he might be really thinking about forward castle. So far, it's just siege workshop to take the battle to his purple enemy, who is right now at 40 C's. And he, he's seriously running out of space. <laughs> he doesn't have the castle as the Mongol, but right now he has literally zero army. Just a bit of Mangu dies here. It's probably the first one. Yeah, it seems like the first one at all. <laughs> and some wolf, wolf train here for his spikes, so he better be careful. As soon, he will be under heavy fire and yep. Aggressive castle drop is here to give him a proper defensible position to fall back to. At the same time, what's happening here? I hear some monk. And that's a monk from the Persian, or from the blue. He's trying to <laughs> convert some knights, so that's a very nice idea. And all he has to do right now is just stick with those knights, lure them in, and then convert one by one. At the same time though, he better be careful, as he was caught off guard on the left. Yeah, just losing the release, they were, they were trying to build something here, maybe a TC to cover the gold. And right now Red is riding very nicely. And this seems like Blue is right now free to do what he wants. Or Green is free to do what he wants, and well... He should be up in into Imperial as soon as he can. So let's have a look at Louis. Yeah, he's definitely aiming for it, so it should be quite soon. Right now, though, Yellow <laughs> is advancing into Imperial and has having a pretty decent line of upgrades already. And this should really result in a pretty strong push very soon from him. And you can see that Purple has literally zero army. Just a bit of a pikeman here. Just killing some Louis. Luffy's, and together with it, a very nice drop of the castle on the a high hill, that's yeah, going to give some extra damage, so that's a very nice placement, and covers the gold very sweetly. Now, of course, also the way into his base from this right part of the map. In the middle you can see that Red was really trying to raid his steel teammate, it seems, or opponent, but he was caught by those eagles, and that's not a battle you, he wanted to take. Oh so, yeah, there you go, he has to retreat, and the wolf <laughs> seems to be joining the battle like a puppy. But he's definitely aiming for some damage there. Right now you can see that a huge army of blue knights, of blue knights are coming in and they won't be knights for a, for a whole lot longer. As you can see that Cavalier upgrade is already being researched. And yeah, blue is really counting on that and that will really switch the moment of the battle very seriously once they upgrade. And especially when Teal is joining the battle with his eels. Yep. And this is a pretty bad slaughter for the plumes and the bellies of green as well. And right now, uh, this is a pretty strong double. And Red doesn't have enough army here, as he has most of his army at, at the bottom, trying to raid a teal. And this this is a very crucial battle, and it's definitely going into the Jedi's way. Simply by outmaneuvering their opponents. That's a pretty good job. And even though they just seems to be one way through here, it's, uh, it's gate, but it's open. <laughs> unfortunately for Green, he wasn't able to keep it locked and uh, closed. So that's really unfortunate, and he unleashed all those knights right inside his base. So that's a very nice one. But right now it almost seems like it's closed. Yep, it is. It is closed already, so not a good microphone blue or teal. Actually, keep it closed, but anyway, the damage is already done and they are just wreaking havoc inside the base. But at the same time, let's have a look at the left where yellow is finally getting inside 
the purple's base, and you can see he's just giving the advantage in numbers. So even though purple was able to amass at least some army, he's not even using everything there. Yeah, he has no real defense against all this siege, even though he has Mangodais that have bonus against siege weapons. Well, the number of the Mangodais from yellow and right now joining the battle are the camels. That should really be it for it. And yep, you can see that the GG is being called, as yellow is pretty much defeated and left right now, you can see with all this siege and Mangodais and camels. And on the right, yeah, the guys just stormed through and the red wasn't able to do enough damage here. To deal and he was defeated there as well it seems so unfortunately for F that's it and the Jedi take game number two but it was a pretty decent game so quite fun let's have a look at the achievements I don't think we'll see anything much interesting just that Thorax is the total score best as he was having a very good economy and not as good as uh, Ruben stuck, but still pretty decent. And it kind of mirrors the overall rating of these players. Ruben stuck the best, Thorax second best, and Yupe with a bit of pause. Ah, Louis, the most units lost. Yeah, because he lost uh, quite a ton of villagers there. But the best army from Krasis, so at least small victory for BF there. And he wasn't doing all that bad as a pocket altogether, so... Pretty decent play. Well, that was game number one.